Hi, this is Big Red. I'm just trying to show a demonstration of the drive rack um, interface here. I don't think many people know how powerful it is. But anyway, this is the screen that comes up when you originally uh, start up the processor. And right here is uh, input 1 and 2. And if you click on this, double click on it, um, there's your level for all of left. Um, you can put a high pass filter on if you want. Um, and you can adjust your, your gains as they are. And if you don't like what you do, you can just hit cancel to go back to the normal uh, wherever you had it at when you started. Right here, um, this is a stereo EQ that controls both left and right. Um, you can easily put that on the screen as well as your individual left and right, as you can see there, uh, as I'm doing now. And basically, you can have all these on the screen at the same time. You can make adjustments. You can flatten it out and start over. If you don't like it, hit cancel. It'll go back to exactly where you're at. So let me show you this. Um, then you have an overall delay on left and right. Okay, So you can adjust this and change it to second speed or meters. You can use the, the mouse and slider or you can do your arrows down here on the keyboard to do 0.01 millisecond adjustments. Okay, um, So if you get left and right delta time alignment, you can do left and right uh, at the same time, which is kind of cool. Here's your crossover section. Um, this gives you your uh, low pass, your band pass on your mid bass, your band pass on your mid range, and then your tweeter. Uh, and the cool thing about this is if, if you want to pick a mid and tweeter crossover point and want to change them at the same time, you can use the center frequency tab and just either arrow over or you can uh, slide it with your mouse. and um, adjust each one accordingly. This goes up to 48 dB. It also has a choice of a variety of filters. Um, and then every driver has its own parametric EQ. Uh, and you can swing these 12 dB either way. So you can grab it and you can go up and down uh, on the slider or you can pick it down here. There's four, uh, four bands of parametric EQ from the highest Q to the lowest Q. Um, so you can flatten out every single driver before you get started on your regular EQ. Then uh, you have a delay for each driver and the cool thing about this is each driver you can put the delay on the screen. So I can have left and right tweeter, I can have left and right mid, I can have all of them on the screen at the same time when I'm doing delay settings um, and no other processor does this and also uh, the milliseconds are done in 0.01 steps, so you just click on the bar, and then if I move this over with my finger, it goes in 0.01 millisecond steps, or you can use a slider. Okay, so I'm going to cancel all these out. And then you have, uh, you know, so 1, 2 is tweeter, 3 and 4 is mid, 5 and 6 is mid base, 7 is sub, and 8 is a rear fill I've been playing around with, and what I've done is, taken uh, line input 3 and reverse the uh, uh, signal, summed them to this fourth um, uh, input, and then I have my own uh, parametric, I have my own stereo, uh, my 30 band EQ, I also have my own delay, <clears throat> and I also have my gain structure here, and this is, here's how you control the gain on the speakers as well, you just click on the number, uh, and you can adjust it there. So it's pretty powerful, I don't know any, any other processor that has this capability. Um, so thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later.